Hello, this is Bob Trogglestead here, and uh, I'm back. I'm back from vacation. That's why I haven't posted in a while, or it took me a long time to post. Um, some people have been asking me to show the farm in action, working like it should. Um, it's probably not a full harvest, but we'll manage. So let's just flip the switch and uh, try to step back here see the water if we can see the water flowing down let's go oh see it there it is goes back and forth down it goes and down these corners now I leave it running for wait a little bit okay and then I'll stop it collect all the stuff and reharvest. So, um, I was on vacation, and, uh, wait, did I already? Mm. Water takes a little while to, uh, leave. Yep, there it goes. Um, it's. No! Water! Stop it! Did I turn it back on? Or turn it off. I turned it off. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Um, vacation. Um, it was Christmas break. So I went to um, Vermont. It was my choice for my family to decide where we were going. And I wanted to go snowboarding slash skiing. My dad tried skiing, he failed, he tried snowboarding, he failed, um, actually, sorry, my stepdad, I confuse a lot of people whenever I say my dad and not my stepdad, because he has been my stepdad since I was two or three years old, so as far as I can remember, he's always been my stepdad, so I call him dad, um, but... He didn't do very well. Uh, I actually took a video, and I'll show you guys. Um, I want to edit a little compilation, I guess, of different things that had happened while I was on camera. A lot of them being me falling. It was my first time snowboarding ever. Um, I think I did pretty well. The second day, we only snowboarded two days, and the second day I... Um, made it down three different uh, blue trails now if you're wondering if you don't know what um, the rating system for trails or um, paths are for snowboarding and skiing there is red for beginner um, then there's orange one step above that then there's green after green there's blue and then after blue there's black diamond and I believe there's double black diamonds I've seen I've seen on a map double black diamonds obviously I was not gonna go on those those uh, I'd die I'd probably fall off the mountain and die but um I had a lot of conversations with a lot of different people while I was going up, that was a really fun experience for the trip. That was, I really liked that, where I just got up on the in the chair in the lift going up. I was, um, I just joined a random group of people that didn't have four people, either had two or three, so I could join them and uh, go down. And I really liked talking to them while I was going up, seeing where they're from, stuff like that. That was really fun. Um, I like how I'm not talking about the snowboarding because I know um, I did bad most of the time. And when I did good, my camera died and it was... Uh, oh, I added this little um, hay bale up here um, for no apparent reason, but I did. So, <laughs> I forgot to mention that. Um, but, the... Whenever I did go down the blue hills and I was doing my best runs and stuff like that, it was not on camera because my GoPro died. 
Um, I got a GoPro for Christmas. i had been asking for it for a little while because I also go up in Missouri and do some foiling with Ninjas 242 and everybody around our little subdivision. So hopefully you guys will be looking forward to that. My dad says we might not go for some reason. He still doesn't know for sure yet. So hopefully we'll see you'll have that to look forward to in the future in future episodes um yeah my my camera died i keep getting off tra topic my camera died i didn't get me going down the blue hill i didn't get my worst fall oh my god that hurt i'll tell you the story about that before i start playing the video um I was going down, I was pretty confident, I knew what I was doing, it was a green hill, I was going down green most of the time because um, I couldn't find any orange trails to go down, so right off the bunny hill, go down, go to the green, um, and then um, what I did was, while I was going down, I hit a patch of ice, and I started to lose control a little bit. I thought I regained control of turning and stuff like that. So I leaned back because I was um, leaning forward. And I was starting to turn a little bit more than I wanted to. So I leaned back. And when I leaned back, I, I don't know what I hit. I hit something, but I was going pretty fast. And I just flew. I, I swear, I flew at least two feet not vertically horizontally that way so this is me Whoa! And I landed on my side and I just laid there for at least 30 to 45 seconds just in pain because I landed on ice too and I was Ugh. oh that hurt so much there's actually some a uh, little kid that he was gonna turn down a different trail but he turned and went to see if I was okay so that was really nice of him. I was fine. Um, I only have a few bruises from that. Um, but yeah, let's get... Um, I'm going to go over to this zombie farm. While I was on vacation, I tried to record some work for the zombie XP farm. And I did, but it was terrible. The sound quality was bad since... Um, I didn't have everything set up in a room that I wanted it, so it was really weird. It, sa it just sounded bad. Everything about it wasn't that good. I wasn't very sure of what I was doing. I was kind of just making up as I went along. And uh, you know how that is. Trial and error on camera is super boring. So I deleted the whole thing, scrapped it. You guys can see the semi-finished product. I think... The zombies are still in range of the spawner, so they stop spawning after a while, which is not good. I'll have to change that. But, um, we'll head over there. But first, let's see some clips of me falling, maybe my dad, um, failing a little bit. Um, yeah, let's do that.
Hey guys, we're at the spawner. I hoped you enjoyed that. Um, uh, it was really fun for me. So I just made the ladder used to be here, but that's right over the spawner, so I changed it to over here. Um, so down we go. But yeah, snowboarding so much fun. I really want to do it again. I didn't want to stop the last day. The thing, the um, lifts were supposed to close at four o'clock. Um, the last time I got on the lift was about 4.05. I just kept going down. I thought I only had one run left, and I just went as fast as I could. Then I went again as fast as I could, and I landed on my side and almost broke my butt. And then I went down again. Ah, uh, it was great. I made this iron block from the, uh, um, rare drops. These are just some stuff from the chest I got, um, and a potato. We can make potato farms now. But, um, this is basically, not basically, this is the spawner. I'm just gonna light it up. Oh, wait, am I on peaceful? Oh, I am. Dang it. I'm on peaceful because, um, I was working with an adventure map I'm making. Oh, no. I mentioned I'm making an adventure map. Oh, great. Now I'm going to have to... Uh, I'm either going to have to make videos about it now. Or I'm going to have to finish it. I've never finished an adventure map that I've started, if you didn't know. I've tried to make two different adventure maps on two separate occasions. And it is not ended well because I did not finish it. I usually get hung up with the building. I just wanted to show you this little mechanic here. This, um, you guys should hopefully know what this is. It's just they spawn in this room. The water pushes them down to here where they're pushed. And this little stair here is just so that they keep going. Um, and this thing right here, well, up here is where they would swim up because there is a block of water because they're they're gonna be swimming up because they don't want to be in this water so they'll be swimming up swimming up swimming up and then they hit this and they go up and they're still so they keep going up and up and up it's a little mob elevator and now once we get to the very top which we're close we'll be pushed and then fall and we will land with half a heart bam I just healed up real quick whenever that happened, so, because I'm accidentally unpeaceful. But, um, here, we break this open, go down here. This is where the baby zombies die. They'll be pushed into here and die in the lava because the baby zombies, um, they will not be affected by this. They won't go up the chain and they'll clog up the system. So I just have a little detour, they're one high. So it'll be pushed because they can't jump up into this water above my head here like the other ones and they'll go down and burn. So, uh, oh crap, I don't have a bucket. No! Give me this ladder. Give me this ladder. I should have moved this ladder a long time ago. Um, right there. Can we make this, can we make this ladder? No. Okay. Let's, uh, let's figure this out. Okay, figured it out. Um, if we break this, put it here, we can get up here, and then jump up. Sweet. Let's just take all this off so we can see it in action. I can't wait for 1.8 update. There's going to be a lot of new stuff. There's going to be some cool new stuff with entities and command blocks. Um, so that's going to be fun to mess around with. Um, killing mobs. Um and stuff like that so let's just break that ladder and turn it back onto hard there's also a lock thing so in this world I could lock it and it'll never change that's what I would do for this world so as you can see they spawn and they'll be fighting the current the entire time as they go now um, once they go up like they'll start to go up now they'll be pushing each other. You can see that guy right there. His torso is going up. 
and he is now traveling up the water stream. And he'll fall down here with a one to two punch uh, thing. Fall damage is, um, because they're being pushed by water and they're swimming and jumping up and down, it's hard to get a perfect one punch. Um, so yeah, I just want to show you this. We're actually not going to be using this that much. We might actually make a villager slash emerald farm from these zombies because they can actually spawn. Oh, there's it. See, that guy was two hits. See, they're both, those three zombies were two hits. But, um, zombie villagers. We can get zombie villagers from this. So, if we do that, then we can start a villager farm and such as that. That was actually three hits. But, um,. Oh, that guy picked up my ladder. Ha! Sweet. I'm putting him right there. I don't know um, why I just got up there. But as you can see, it, it works. It gives me XP. Um, the reason I want to do this is because... Um, oh, that guy has a carrot. Oh, that guy has armor on. Um, but we can make a villager farm with that, which would be awesome. Now, um, I don't really want to show you a lot of this because obviously it is not that exciting just to see me go back and forth hitting zombies. So we'll go with one more zombie. You're supposed to fall when I say one more zombie. So one more zombie! Uh, I said one more zombie! Or two. Or three. There we go. Okay. Now let's put that zombie flesh right back in there. And let's go back up and home. Now this is the perfect time. Night time. This is what I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for night time because I'm trying to get ender pearls. This is episode eight of my let's play. Now, I want episode ten to be a episode or to be a yeah double digits um celebration so you know what we're gonna fight the ender dragon on episode 10 yeah that's right so to do that we need ender pearls <laughs> um if i get when i get home i'll show you how many ender pearls i actually have this is also how i've been getting experience and how i enchanted my favorite sword um he could get some looting on him and knock back actually but he's a good sword either way i'm gonna need to set up a little chicken farm so we might be able we might be doing that this episode sorry about that guys my dog was barking at somebody outside um she used to be a hunting dog. Um, her name is Smoogie. We adopted, or yeah, adopted her from the Humane Society. She was there for a few months, actually. So she was there a long time because she was eleven. So we wanted to adopt an older dog because, I mean. You can't say no. Once you play with a dog, once you actually play with a dog, you can't say no, I don't want this dog. That's like, no, it's impossible. You have to, you play with a dog and you're like, yes, I want this dog. So that's what we did. We got her. We also wanted an older dog and we're like, she's been there for months. It's really, um, it'd be a good idea to get her. Ow! Skeleton creeper! Well, you witnessed death number eight. Ugh. Uh, okay. We are cutting it close now. My favorite sword is Hinokin. I named it Hinokin. It's Japanese. Um, it's probably Japanese sounding. I actually went on Google um, Translate and looked up... Um, flaming sword or something like that if you go into google translate and type in hinokin 
you will see what the actual name is in English. And it was like, um, sort of flame or something like that. Sort of fire or something like that. Um, do I have everything I do? Because I didn't mention this yet, I don't think, but I died while I was working on this. Oh, all my armor's destroyed. That's nice. Um, I was working on the zombie farm, and I died. And all my stuff went into the lava because of the water streams. And um, the water streams just pushed it right into the lava. So I was kind of upset about that. But luckily, Hinokin, um, Hinokin survived. Now it's um, Fire Aspect 2, Sharpness 4, Unbreaking 3. I'm going to wait to improve Hinokin. Um, I'm going to wait to improve it until um, until 1.8 comes out. Because once 1.8 comes out, I will actually be able to, hopefully, from what it seems like in the snapshots, if they don't change it that much, I will be able to... I accidentally like moved my Minecraft window. Um, I'll be able to repair Hinokin if it gets more over or has more enchantments um, in 1.8. So, yeah. I don't think we can actually do a chicken farm, but we have eight ender pearls. We have eight. Five. We have five ender pearls. <laughs> we. <coughs> We have eight deaths. Um, I also got this pick. It's a very good work pick. I called it Quicksilver. Um, and I got this bow. So yeah, you can tell I've been doing a lot of AFK work, or a little bit at least. Um, yeah, I, I didn't actually have a plan for this episode. That was probably a bad idea. But um, I just wanted to get this out another episode because I have been um, not uploading recently because of the vacation I was busy the entire time so I hope you guys understand um, I've been experimenting a lot with command blocks and creative add some stuff down um, oh I know I want to enderman oh wait no that's obsidian crap I was like enderman kill it um I want to show you something in creative so we'll go over there and I want to show you a little command block thing I made just out of curiosity if it would actually work so here we are in my creative world now I'm not gonna show you what those are because those are secrets you can't tell anybody but they're secrets so um I made this little thing here now what this does, it, um, it affect, so the command affect to the closest player, which would be me, because I'm the only one in this world, um, two, which is weakness, no, it's slowness, right here, zero. So it takes slowness away from me, but I don't have slowness, so as it's running, it's not going to do anything, so it's basically testing that I have weakness. See, watch. If I throw a slowness down, boom. Now it's true, and it starts this clock here. Now what this clock is, it's um, teleport the closest player to the, these coordinates with a radius of 2, and it's teleporting me, um, it adds 1 to the Z coordinate. Now basically what this is, is a wait let's let's actually reset it and go in here and reset it I made this little you did a good job you hit the button and uh, it does that so I thought that was pretty cool and it resets so um, basically say I'm in an adventure map I have no idea where I am where am I supposed to go oh wait there's this health or help potion in my inventory if I throw this on the ground, whoa, whoa, I'm moving towards the objective, whoa, would you look at that, so in this, um, what is this, 9 by 9 grid, 
no matter where I'm standing, if I'm standing here, it's going to teleport me one block at a time to the objective. Even if I stand right here, it's going to teleport me, teleport me, teleport me, teleport me. Right here. So no matter where I stand, it will bring me to the exit. I thought that was a little cool thing that it's just one thing that I had in mind. Now, um, as you can see, when this is turned on, this is a weird redstone episode of my Let's Play, but don't know what else to do. So, um, it locks it so it can't keep trying to take the potion effect from me, and it'll mess everything up in this timer, it won't work. Um, now, when I hit this button, what it does is it sets the block um, on this coordinate to Minecraft Air, which is a block of air. Now, it sets this little piece of redstone, turns it into air. So then the signal is lost, and this clock starts again after I finish the objective, and this clock stops because it's unlocked. And then, afterwards, it sets that block back to Minecraft redstone wire. So it replaces that block and then it says good job. Now also what it does is it plays a ghast scream to the nearest player according to the player's coordinate. And then sorry about that guys my dog started barking at somebody walking across the street again. Now I w one thing here, here why are people walking in the rain? It's like it's raining right now outside, and why are there so many people walking around? I don't get it. Anyway, then it summons fireworks. I just copy and pasted this um, code from something else because uh, that's very complicated, and I have not learned that yet. That far into command blocks. I'm just basics command blocks right now. And they hit this. And uh, now it won't teleport us. So yeah, that's um, one thing I did. Another thing over here, I'll show you this, but I won't show you that. Um, teleporting effect. It is all aesthetics. This, all this is is aesthetics. So I'll explain it before. It gives you nausea for eight seconds. Then, after four ticks, it gives you... Um, blindness for three seconds then after eight ticks it finally teleports you and it summons inverted slimes now a slime will instantly die if it is size is negative one right here so what that basically is is just a little puff of smoke of it dying so I'll show you what that effect looks like so you press the button whoa and you can see that little smoke there like the actual like the this is a teleporting machine and it actually teleported me and there's like smoke whenever I get done so yeah um, now I gotta replace that and then it would obviously break the blocks and you could walk out of the room or something like that so yeah that's it guys um I'm not sure how long this episode actually is hmm there's so much other stuff going on in this episode besides me doing anything. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, just going to call it an end there. Um, I'll see you guys next episode where we will set up a chicken farm so we can make arrows. That is our next thing. We need a bunch of arrows to kill the ender dragon. Then episode 10 where we get to kill the ender dragon hopefully we will not reach 10 deaths before then that is my goal and then I turn off well I won't turn off the death counter I'll just keep it um, hidden and then at some special we can put it back on display and see how many times I've actually died so um, yeah that's it guys thanks for watching and uh, see you next time